So red like blood. Ah, cooking on sun. Emma. It goes way back. It was going to be actually my first ever movie before I knew that I would make movies. I started planning the movie back in 99. Wow, that's 17 years ago. So, twice I almost started production with a small 8mm digital 8 camera um, I've tried it with uh, friends from the university, but then it was, uh, I studied economics and uh, I tried really hard to convince them, but uh, they, did, they were excited at first, but then, uh, I don't know, I didn't know how to organize the whole thing. So, it took a while. But I really believed in this project, so um, I went on, started uh, editing some other stuff like parties and weddings and whatever. So I think, well, in 2002, I went to the theater school, an acting school, and for the first time, because I wanted to become director and also an actor, but I mean, primarily a director. Uh, it was funny because <clears throat> the, the people there had no idea who I was there. And, uh, but at the same time, it was intriguing because I was the guy who wanted to create movies. So I first pitched the idea to a couple of people, and uh, for uh, it was, I think between October and November of 2002 and uh, I've, I've tested two dif different actresses for the main part of the reporter, the female reporter and uh, the one became a very successful actress in television in Greece Ioana Pilihu and then the next choice uh, and we actually made <coughs> tests, and uh, I have to find that footage. It's it's a whole scene. We had a whole scene made with another actress. Um, I think it was Maria Himona. Something was missing. Uh, she's great for other parts and other roles, but something was missing. And uh, we started. I started flirting with the idea of having Myra, which was the black sheep, so to say, for, for the whole school. She acted a little bit, I guess, but she was really mad sometimes. And uh, it was funny. I mean, as a comedian, it was, and as they say, that the, the good comedians, they can play some great dramatic parts as well. So, uh, it was magic, the first couple of scenes that we made together, uh, she completely understood it, she got the whole idea, what I meant with uh, having a mockumentary uh, very close to imitating reality and how amateur actors, um, cameramen actually work. And uh, so, we, we did like a three, four of the stories. Uh, the first one, and the third one was the, the very first thing that we shot with Panagiotis, Xanthopoulos and Stella Tokano and uh, inside the car of all raping scene. I had no idea how to edit it for putting it to inside the movie. So I thought, all right, let's pretend that the guy actually suggests the cameraman in, inside the movie suggests that uh, he's going to edit the sh as a short movie or something. Uh, it works well. The second thing was uh, the first scene with Chris Papaminas and uh, Leah Alexandri. And uh, 
it was fitting because uh, they understood the concept that they didn't have to play uh, themselves or like real actors. They had to look like amateur actors and uh, it was appropriate because it was uh, the very early stage in their uh, acting school and stuff. It looks great, it looks well, it looks a little bit fake. We, well, Myra, the reporter, gets inside the story, breaks, cuts the story, and she tries to interview the guy. Uh, it was uh, something like a, a spoof uh, mock up of the whole Big Brother reality thing series on TV where you watch, you know, the people giving interviews, like in between, they cut all these things together. Um, she obviously, as inside the role, inside the movie, she had all those stupid ideas from watching television shows and uh, the news and stuff. Um, the second story, now, that's where the problem was. That was the third thing that we have shot. Because it was supposed to be fake, dumb, and silly and amateurish. Um, it was up to a point, and then funny thing happened after the uh, raping scene of the brother to, to his sister, um, is an incest. She started crying like a lot, like really hard, and she 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 couldn't breathe. And we never we have never seen um, the, the such the, the, this side of her. Maria Sakhanidou, a great actress. Uh, she said in an interview back in 2006 that uh, she kind of lost control, but it was spooky, it was creepy during the production. It was like she had a real knife and she put it like here. She wanted to, to, to cut her throat and she was <laughs> heavily breathing and stuff. And that was crazy. And then, because I, 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 it was scary, the other actor, if, if, he, if he had seen her like that, he, he would, I don't know, call the cops or something. And, uh, as an instruction, I, I said to him, okay, go to the other side and uh, don't look at her so it would be a surprise for the brother. And, uh, she kills the brother during the night and stuff. So he had no idea what her face looked like and that she really carried a real knife and she was shaking. And she, the first time, she stabs him. Because I was looking at the camera and the other people were like beside me. I thought, all right, now we go to jail. I had no idea that if she really stabbed him or not. I was over, but glad nothing happened. And then, well, the fourth story and the, the, the small stories in between, they, they were smooth. Uh, the fourth story with the drugs, that was almost boring, but I love the people involved, Chris, Anastasia, and Electra. And uh, we played with the whole idea, uh, and Ilya Domino as well, a uh, great friend. And uh, they acted well together. It was kind of thick, but it goes well. You know, it supports the whole idea of the story. So, we move on finally to the fifth scene, and we had no idea. We had the cast. cast the, the, the cast for, for the story. So um, I had a relationship back then and uh, two uh, good friends of uh, my girlfriend back then. Uh, the one she wanted to act in movies and uh, the other just supported her the whole year and Vanessa and Vera and uh, they the, the actress, Nicoletta, who, won, who, who, who did the whole thing to her, like she started the whole fight. Um, she was from 
in actor studio and she but she had I guess no experience but she was good but she was like you know theater actress and uh, they started so uh, the instructions I thought they were clear but I never said like cut I never stop them and uh, eventually uh, Vanessa got to a point that she threw the keys to the refrigerator and um, I mean if she had hit the girl or me or someone else they would probably not just go to the hospital but they would eventually be dead by that time and we, we were shocked because it, it was heavy I mean it left a mark on the refrigerator that was really deep. I mean, you, you cannot do that with metal, You're just throwing something at you. And um, a really creepy, really dangerous situation, but we went on and I even have some shots inside the movie where I say to her, okay, let's just go on. I mean, that was real. That was instructions for me as a director, but it goes so well. It, it, it's, it's, it fits perfectly inside the story. So they, they went on and Nicoleta was pushing her. Vanessa lost control and Vera didn't know how to react. And it, we were just embracing the whole thing. I mean, it was just... I mean, it, it was a divine moment. You can go to hell to, to create you know something that will eventually stay on film forever. Hopefully that's the case. And um, so they, they had this terrible fight in the end and Vanessa hit her with uh, an ashtray, a uh, glass ashtray, for, uh, no, a metal one. It's a metal one, it was glass would break. Uh, a really heavy one and she managed to hit her on the left side uh, of the skull um, and we were shocked because uh, I didn't know if, if, if she was going to be alive or something um, now I couldn't, I couldn't continue shooting I lost my tender and stuff. So what you see is that there is a hidden cut because when I threw the camera and you know we were shot and stuff, uh, I left the camera so I had nothing uh, in the picture. But um, she was unconscious for, for a few moments and stuff and. Uh, our heartbeat was like, we were like shaking, we thought like, all right, that's it, that's, we're screwed, we're over, uh, with everything in our lives. And uh, so, she stood up and she said, it's fine guys, it's okay, it's part of the acting, great thing, uh, blah, blah, blah. And we imitated the whole situation once again, and I tried to find, you know, the right moment for the cut. So there is a small cut, but the footage is actually real. And uh, it was dangerous, and you never try this if you're a filmmaker. Um, I first edited the movie in 2005, I think. I uh, was working. Uh, we were shooting up to 2004. And uh, I took my time with the editing. I've never done it before, and I think I had like a, um, a version like uh, late 2004, I guess. And 2005, I made some small changes and stuff, better sound. I showed it to some people, friends of mine, and uh, they, they couldn't watch it. It was unbearable because they had to stop it like 100 times. They couldn't breathe. I mean, I've never seen that with people, with uh, viewers. They're really focused, but there is a moment that they have to go to, you know, to, 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 make, to have a break, to, to, to smoke or to uh, take a breath and, you know. So, 
I had no idea what to do the, the, the movie. I never sent it to a festival. I've never shown it to, to, to anyone officially. And uh, in 2006, 2006 after I, I, I made Bruto, uh, Brutal, we, there was the, the film premiere and then I thought, all right, maybe we can change some things inside the movie and we could eventually uh, send it to the, the, the official festival uh, in Greece. That was the first time that I had uh, well, the first issues with the film festival because I think some of the fucking people there hate, hate me. And uh, hopefully this year things have changed with who's in charge right now. He's a great guy. And uh, Orestes Andreadakis, and uh, I believe in him. Uh, but uh, back then, although we managed to create a real movie and we had like the, the inserts uh, as an intro sequence and the outro, uh, and it felt like a real movie, it had also a very dangerous moment. I mean, the movie is haunted, it's cursed, or whatever. Uh, the, we, we found like uh, actresses who had basically no idea about acting. And um, the, the, the fourth girl, the very beginning, uh, Evelyn Sammy, what happened with her, she, she knew what we were doing, but she never watched the movie, the other version. She knew it was kind of a porn shooting that goes wrong, but uh, we we have hidden the knife, the real knife, uh, behind the, the, the couch. And uh, as uh, Nick Summers took it and gave it to, to Aguilos Mato, she saw it for the first time and she, there was a moment that she thought, oh, they're gone to kill me. For real, you know. And she started screaming and it was a mess. I mean, because. Well, she punched the one guy, she, she hit him, and uh, she stood up, she found her clothes, and she wanted to, to run to the streets and stuff. It was crazy, and uh, it could go wrong. I mean, but it wasn't that dangerous as the fifth story. So, we sent it to the film festival, and there was a special screening, I guess. Uh, I didn't go to, to that, because it wasn't a premiere or something. Uh, and you know, I had no idea why. The, the, I mean, it was like four in the morning. Who stays up that late for, for a movie? Not sure how many people uh, have watched it. So it's a difficult thing what the movie was all about. And uh, I still love it. I still support it. And I think it's worth watching this ones. Uh, try to find all the small minor details and uh, how the structure works. Uh, it has so many layers, it has so many different things inside and uh, if you love movies you want to love Red Light Blood because it's it's really something else. And uh, hopefully I will have a dub version at least, you know, English version or German version as well. Soon, I know that uh, it's worth doing it. You know, it's worth because it was huge effort, huge amount of work, tons of hours of videos, and uh, just see for yourself.
Thank you.